other functions is that limit n tends to infinity f and x equal to fx where x is belonging to e and let mn is equal to supremum of the mod of f and x minus fx where x is belonging to e then we have to prove that fn converges to f uniformly on e if and only if mn is tending to zero as n tends to infinity so these two things are given to us and we have to show that fn is converging to f uniformly on e if and only if mn tends to zero as n tends to infinity so if first we suppose that fn is converging to f uniformly on e then we have to prove that mn is tending to zero as n tends to infinity and then we have to prove the other way that if mn tends to zero as n tends to infinity is given then we have to show that fn is converging to f uniformly so it is also a two way proof if and only if means two way proof so first suppose that fn is converging to f uniformly on e and we have to reach that mn tends to zero as n tends to infinity now because fn is converging to f uniformly on e then we have to apply the definition for the uniform convergence so it is very well known that by definition that then for every epsilon positive there exists a positive integer n that depends upon epsilon only such that mod of f n x minus f of x is strictly less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to n and for all x belonging to e right so this implies if the mod of f n x minus f x is strictly less than epsilon then i can write from here that its supremum value is also strictly less than epsilon right for all n greater than equal to n now this is nothing but it is given to us that this value is equal to mn mn is strictly less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to n right so that implies what mn is strictly less than epsilon and epsilon is a very very small positive quantity and it is happening for all n greater than equal to capital n so just applying the definition for this we can write that mn is tending to zero as n tends to infinity right so let's move on to the converse part conversely suppose mn is tending to zero as n tends to infinity which means we just apply the definition now mn is tending to zero mn is not actually zero it is tending to zero as n is tending to infinity so this means what then for every epsilon positive there exists a positive integer n depending upon epsilon only such that mn strictly less than epsilon for n greater than equal to n here n is tending to infinity right so for all n greater than equal to n mn can be strictly less than epsilon where epsilon is a very very small positive quantity so there can exist a value of mn which can be strictly less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to n right here mn is tending to zero okay so this implies mn given to us is that it is the supremum of mod of fnx minus f of x strictly less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to n where x is belonging to e now if supremum value is strictly less than epsilon which means this implies the mod of f n x this value is also strictly less than epsilon if its supremum value is strictly less than epsilon then this value itself is strictly less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to n this means for all so for all n greater than equal to n and for all x belonging to 
e here already x belongs to a is written so in the next step we have to write this over here right and this is nothing but the definition for the uniform convergence right so this implies the sequence fn is converging to f uniformly on e right so fn is converging to f uniformly